Hi guys, welcome back to the pantry. Today, I'm putting stuff into the pantry. I'm going to can some poultry. I've got um, some boneless, skinless chicken breast that I got for $1.69 a pound, um, which is a steal. Uh, I'm going to those, inspect them for too much fat and all that. I don't mind if there's a little bit of fat in the jars. Um, but I don't want a lot. Because we're trying to go lean here, right? Okay. So there's, let's see, this package was two and a half pounds. There's about five pounds of chicken breast that I got. I have six pounds of ground turkey and eight pounds of these beautiful boneless turkey breasts. They're roast. And I thought, you know, I'm going to can some turkey. I don't have any cans. And I thought, I, close to the holidays, I'm going to buy some turkey and can it. And I thought, well, I'm going to start with this turkey breast and see how that comes out. That should be pretty easy to go along with the chicken breast and, um, and the ground turkey. I'm going to do them all in the same pot. Um, these I'm going to have to cut down a little bit. But I'm going to, uh, I've got my oven roaster, and it almost looks like they've already been seasoned. It doesn't say, oh yeah, roasted herb. So they've already been seasoned. Well, then that fancy. So, I'm going to do them in the, if somebody asked me, is that a baby bathtub? I'm going to do it in the cave, or the countertop roaster. These scissors don't want to cooperate, unfortunately. So beans, this is already seasoned. I won't have to do much seasoning. Let's have one of these for dinner. Wow, this is huge. <laughs> huge. And I don't want this skin on there. And I'm ready to get my stuff into the roaster. <clears throat> I have got six pounds of ground turkey. Now this ground turkey is 7% fat, which, you know, by the time you, when you cook hamburger or um, turkey like this, um, it really takes a lot of that fat out. You don't have to use the liquid if you don't want to. But this is just, a, it's an easier, no fuss way to uh, get your ground meat done and I then I just kind of break it apart a little bit <coughs> that way it's got somewhere to go and it's nice because this will keep my liquid hot too for um, for the uh, you know filling up the jars this might be a messier way to go I don't know we'll see anyway so I'm putting my chunks of turkey in here and then we'll go to chicken, and then we'll go to, then we'll get to canning. I'm excited for you guys to get to see this. Anyway, um, if any of you have canned turkey and have uh, what you thought of it after it was canned, let me know. Um, the chicken tends to fall apart, and so I'm hoping cooking it first instead of raw packing I'm hoping that that will change that. So, anyway, and this is going to be a nice full roaster full of meat here. Um, I'm not going to add any herbs to it. In fact, I rinsed that. Uh, some herbs, I guess, once they're canned, like sage, tends to get bitter. And I actually did uh, canned herbed um, Cornish game hens. I have not tried them. I want to. I want to open a jar. Um, and and see if the sage actually turns bitter on me or not because that would just be a kind of a bummer. Anyway, so there you go. We're going to let this cook down. My jars are all in the dishwasher. I'm going to add some of this Norse um, stock. It will enhance the flavor, but... Uh, and give the, you know, the 
actual broth that's going over the over the meat a little bit more flavor okay you guys um, kind of a rough angle here but I'm going to try to give you an idea of what's going on I've got a couple I've got three jars already in the canner and I'm filling um, I'm filling these this is the turkey I, I've cubed it and I'm just taking it out as I go um, I cubed it and now I'm filling the ground turkey, which is kind of tricky because it's all floating and intermingling in there. <laughs> and uh, you want to make sure that you take a rubber spatula or a barbecue skewer or something non-metallic. Um, I've been known to stick metallic things in here, but I'd rather not. Within an inch of head space, these are hot. And then again on this one, and I may have to take something out if this doesn't, yeah, too full. So we've got a handy dandy spoon there. Save it for the next one. All right. Then you're going to wipe the, li the rims off very carefully. This one still looks too full to me. Okay. Now we're better. <clears throat> and wipe these rims. And now we need a lid and a ring. Finger tight and into the canner. Now the canner, I don't want it screaming hot. I just want it to keep it until I get these jars enough of them filled that I can start that one going. And then I'll work on the next one. Come on, lid. And there we go. I'm anxious to see how um, these come out. They look really pretty. So I'm just going to continue filling the jars. And hi, you guys. I thought I'd bring you back. <laughs> it's kind of noisy in here. Um, I got. Two canners full. There's eight pints in each one. And if I was doing quarts, there'd only be seven in each one. But this was a good deal. And I actually had some leftover ground turkey and leftover chicken breast. So it's, it's a little harder to calculate how much meat you need. Um, and I, I'm not going to can after this is done. It'll take another couple of hours to finish. Um, so I wouldn't be able to can more tonight. Otherwise I would. But I didn't get started till late. So anyhow, I've got leftover chicken breast and uh, leftover ground turkey. I can, we can have tacos and maybe, maybe I'll throw the chicken breast in the freezer and when I need another chicken salad I'll have them already cooked. Anyway, I'll do it yourself. Buy it on sale and do it yourself. It's so inexpensive. I, I cannot justify buying a little can of canned chicken that really tastes not that good um, <laughs> for uh, $2. I'm like, are you kidding me? So anyway, I, I truly hope this inspires you to do something outside the box and uh, maybe... Get back to basics. Start canning. Alright, YouTube.